Hi, um, so you might be looking at this video and going, what the hell am I watching? Not only visually, but even just wondering, you know, why you're watching this video. Um, as you can see, quite clearly, no more beard. Uh, I don't even know if I, po if I will post this video, but I'm recording something that is something that is clearly being on my mind and... Part of why I made the decision to shave um, my beard in the first place. I'm a guy that has always been and always will be positive. Uh, positive about life, positive about myself and positive just about what I do. Uh, and I do my best to be confident of who I am as a person and just spread uh, just that level of positivity, etc. And... Over, obviously, the last year or so, and even longer, but specifically over the last year, I have focused really heavily on my casting career and my casting and focusing on that area of my life. And even though I have recognized at times that uh, my health and kind of well-being from a physical standpoint uh, definitely could be better, it's obviously something I've ignored. Uh, with the pandemic, it obviously um, restricted not only myself, but a lot of people to staying indoors. And to be perfectly honest, I use that as an excuse. In straight up, I use it as an excuse. Um, especially over the last six plus months, I have just done nothing but stay at home only gone out to do shopping and i recognize that yeah that's definitely safe and that's cool uh but it's t been to the detriment to my health and kind of well-being and to my physical to my physical appearance being straight up and i tend not to worry about how i look but when I do feel like it's an eye-opener, like it is right now, it's scary and it's sad and it hurts me. And I know it's my own fault. I'm not looking for sympathy, but I, I, I'm at least expressing uh, what has been going through my head. It, it came to my biggest attention from going to Dubai because being surrounded by, you know, the four walls of my room, I don't... You know, and not, let's say, going outside, not traveling, not being with people. You just, you ignore how you kind of look, right? You know, because you're in the comfort of your own room, your own home. And when I went to Dubai, um, I recognized that I am not in a good position uh, in how I even just would like to be. And even just feeling constantly out of breath and constantly out of, uh, just constantly out of breath, it, it just it didn't feel good and it doesn't feel good. Now you might be thinking, well, what the hell has that got to do with uh, you shaving your beard? Your beard <laughs> has nothing to do with uh, how you physically feel. And that's, you're, you're generally right, of course. Uh, however, to t kind of take you back to 2011, um, in, in late 2011, August 2011, I was at my, uh, I was in a position where I wasn't really happy with who I was as a person. I wasn't really feeling very confident. And at that time, I had quite a good few piercings in my face. I had like, you know, a lot of piercings, like about... 11 to 15 Pearsons and I remember coming back from a trip in France and I took out like 9 or 10 of my piercings uh, because it was me, a part of me kind of taking control of my life and taking a bit more control of who I am and, and a little bit more control of how I look and even though it took a few months after that, I started looking after myself and my body and my fitness and everything like that. And it led to essentially me losing a lot of weight and 
uh, looking after myself a lot more. Now, that was 10 years ago. I don't know if history is going to repeat itself. In in a way, I don't want it to repeat itself. Because one, I was much younger. So it was much easier to actually kind of lose that weight. If, if that makes sense. But me shaving at the core is pretty much just me trying to take control of my life a little bit more. Uh, whether it's metaphorically, whether it's more just in my head, I don't know. That question will only be answered at, at, over time. Uh, I've started making a couple of positive changes in, in terms of my eating habits and in terms of, you know, hopefully having a positive effect on how I look and how I feel and how healthy I feel. But uh, again... I don't know if you'll watch this video. I don't even know if I'll post it. But I wanted to post something that was pretty honest and pretty candid. And to put it out there in a little bit of a vulnerable manner. Because I know that being honest and transparent is something that I always try to be and try to do. Um, so yeah. Um, if you are still listening, thank you for listening. Um and let's see how it goes i do plan on bringing the beard back because i'm not gonna lie it feels weird without it extremely weird um but it's still something that i'm happy i did for my control and something i chose to do so yeah um and thank you for listening stay safe stay awesome look after yourself like I'm trying to, and have a good day.